Okay, so there was this dude called Belinsky. Beskinsky. Beskinsky. He got stabbed to death. But he left some dope art behind him. He inspired many and weirded out even more with his creepy and surreal art. It was the first time I felt an impactful emotion when I was observing art pieces. It was uncomfortable and scary. So what is the next logical thing to do? Recreate his art, of course. Step 1. Choose the art you like. And you're able to recreate. I chose this untitled painting. Step 2. Analyze and plan. I wanted to try practical effects, so I need to make props. Someone to take photos or to film them. And someone to help me with post-production. Because why make it hard for myself, if I can make it hard for everyone? Step 3. Practical effects. Let's make the main pieces. Make a mold. Plaster. Wait a while. Chip it off, make dents and detailed things. Put paint on it. Paint details. Hang it. Congratulations. Now you have a hanging painted rock. And if you make some mistakes here, don't worry. The post will fix it. Step 4. Make other people do the work and film it. Then not use most of the footage because you're dumb and it would be too much work. Puppet a falling rock so you don't need to animate anything. Wrong. Blender is all powerful and you don't need puppeteering. Oh, and if you did something wrong here, don't worry. Uh, post will fix it. <clears throat> Step 5. Make other people make movie magic in post. And after 24 hours of rendering and many unsatisfying results, we are professionals, you have this. And a grueling realization that you are the final, final post. Shit. Step 6. You have no more people to do the work for you. <sighs> Use editing software to make cuts polish the loop. Add some zoomies to hide your laziness. Add fire, because you forgot to do that in the step before. Realize rocks move, and you need to track everything so it's not... This. You know how to track stuff now. Use that to add glow on the gem, because why not? Step 7. One thing I miss in traditional art is sound. Sourced some free sounds on free sound. Found bells, some dread, and other cool dings and swooshes. I had two bells to play with, so two notes or sounds. It was boring to me, so I did some research. And depending on how the bell is shaved and where it's struck, it can make more sounds. Mine make two each. Four notes total, just for a really uncomfortable chord. Sync it, mix it so it fits the zoomies and the vibe. Step 8. Add some zoomies to hide your laziness. Fix your laziness. Step 9. Watch. Thank you to my friends for making this with me. It was hella fun.